Right, I'm about to start the video over again. I've deleted the the one I was going to start and beforehand. The reason being, the reason being is because it's to do with names. I'm not apparently I'm not allowed to use anybody's name. Um, so if you've just added me back as a friend on Facebook. Please send me a message or drop me um, a mention on Facebook that it's okay that I can use your name on YouTube. Um, it's mine. It's yours. Amanda's back yours. and she's going to do that great thing yours. again. She's going to do that great thing again. Yours. Sheba's. Sheba's, is it? Yeah, that. There's a little bit of water in there, but it seems to have gone stale for some reason. What? Um, you know Amanda's got stuff in front of the camera. She's going to put the water behind the camera. Yeah, there you go. I just move things, some stuff out the way. As for staying beige food, I have to stay beige food. Not beige, it's white. It's white. White. There's a certain doggy down here. That uh, likes she likes cheese strings. She likes cheese strings. I'll just uh, put that somewhere out the way. In fact, she loves cheese strings. I love cheese strings as well, but she loves them more than me. And what I do is I normally take a cheese string. And take the flat side and tear it off just like that and when I tear it off like that I go like that and give it to Sheebs and it's gone but I'm trying to be more positive um, There's a certain one of my friends, he's just knocked it right on the head tonight, actually. And, uh, he's right. I think Amanda's gone to the toilet, but she's going to be back now. I can't eat anything else except white foods at the minute. Right, I haven't opened that. Right. right I'm going to come round and... Yeah, I've... You see, even, even Sheba gets, when we have a little bit of a snack, even the Sheba gets in on it. Don't you, Sheba? With Crohn's disease, a lot of people become... A lot oh, get, get the string in the way, why don't you? Yeah. A lot of people become lactose intolerant. Oh, he's not lactose intolerant. He thought he was. We've been over mm. this video before. But this is not the reason why I put this video here. That's it. Get your hands in the way. I need... I need friends to add me back on Facebook. Well, I wouldn't care. I don't care, me. I'm, I'm one of them people who just doesn't care. Tell them about, um, about this new weight loss programme. Aye! Yeah, there's a new weight loss programme, right? Um, don't go to Slimming World or Weight Watchers, yeah? Because the, they're always asking for subscription fee, yeah? You don't need a subscription fee for this. Get yourself Crohn's disease. You lose 15 stone, yeah, in 10 months. Here's the proof. Mm. And you don't need to spend the fortune. No. No, you don't. No, you don't need to spend the fortune. No, you don't need to spend the fortune. 
So there you go. It hurts though. Leaders and it, 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 it works. It, yes, it does. It yeah. definitely works. You lose you got, weight with it. You got, you got uh, pain and you gain weight loss. Yeah. And it's not... You don't even need to exercise. No, you don't. <laughs> you do afterwards. Because you lose all your strength. Amanda will tell you. Yeah. Tell them about how it's... So it's a good thing. Tell them about how it starts. Well... We don't That's know. one of them uh, things that they're still researching about. It's a lifelong mystery. It's a lifelong mystery. But everybody knows, right, that it's environmental thing. Yeah? Um, Not lifestyle. They say, they say it's... Um, uh, somebody said to me, right? Get you. Somebody said to me that... Um, Crohn's disease is caused by processed food. There's, yes, I dare say it is. Because 90 odd, I would say about 98, 99% of food that you go, you, you go into a supermarket, right? And you just need to look. As soon as you walk through the door, you just need to look. And everything is processed. Right? Everything. Including fruits yeah, and veg. Not for sure, yeah? but will you? And also meat. Because what I think it is, is, you know... Um, Basically... The chemicals that they use for... Um, yeah. Like medications for um, poultry Anim and animals. Animals, yeah. yeah. And also um, chemicals they use to keep... Pests and diseases down in there. That's it, thank you. Go on. In, in there, you know, growing fruit and veg and the likes, yeah? Like you say, mm. you have all these E numbers and everything in processed food, or canned food, packet food, everything like that, yeah? Because if you even look at the what things contain, you're stumped to know what they are. I wonder what that is. And you have no idea what it is. And they say it's um, stuff that um, keeps it, um, uh, oh, what's the word? Preserved. That's the word, yeah, preserved. So yeah, you're yeah, eating and there. drinking chemicals and stuff, yeah? You're mm -hmm. eating and drinking that. And that, plus... Um, no, the medications and things as well that the buddy put you on, yeah? Um, it all came it, about... It all add, add to, the, to getting Crohn's disease. And all, also, cancer as well. Sorry. It all came about after 1945, didn't it? What when they that? released all the super drugs. Yeah. All gone shapes. And so people then, that actually wonder, you know, uh, this is what got to me when the... Uh, is this shaking? One, one of the doctors, yeah, no, it's not. One of the doctors said, oh, they're spending, is it 400 million or something? Or something stupid. Yeah, like trying that. to find a but, cure for it. Trying to find a cure for it. But why find a cure for, for, for um, something that you already know? Right. There is no cure. It's no cure for you. Yeah. You need to find a, something to prevent it so it won't happen again. It came about during 1945 at the end of the war. During the war they were using super antibiotics and at the end of the war all these antibiotics were free they were all free to license and everything and so they did they licensed them all which at the end of the day mm. 
means. Yeah. I've got to spit the dog looking at me. Yeah. The I'm dog. just at the minute I'm just I'm in pain. And I wanna be positive, I wanna be very positive. I want I need people to people who are in Darlington. People who are Darlington in the UK, by the way. Because hmm. I know there's a Darlington in America. You're all accrued in there. Right. Are you speaking to the camera? I am. Yeah. They're getting distracted by other things. And I've, got, you are. I've got 101 things that I need, I need help with, but I'm trying to be more positive, but... Inti Vinci Trader. Inti Vinci. I'm trying to be more positive, but... It's Inti Vinci Spider. Mm. Yeah, is it a pie, the sheep? But, yeah, um... It's not easy at the minute. I've got... I can't sit on my backside. And Amanda's touching my gonads. Am I? <laughs> Sorry. And I've got so much crud in my cap at that. And you do, don't... Do you need to go on, lads? But I can't you... do that now, can I? No, you can. You just can't have a wank with a catheter in. No, you can't. You can't even get a hard on with a catheter in. And you definitely can't do... Amanda's checking, going to check my butt again. It's a naughty, it's naughty, it's a naughty man. I am a naughty bloke. Yeah, naughty boy. Yeah. I'll get that whips and chains out. But I didn't, when I took people off my, oops, when I took people off my Facebook account, I took people off my Facebook account because it was a sad time. And I'd been told by a physiotherapist that I was not going to get better. And that was the end of me. And all I had to do was live my days out. And nobody... Nobody has... Ever, ever... Say that. Say that. Even someone that's in, buddy, um, in the medical profession. Well, this, this always person was in... that, that person gets better. This and so person. you give them positive uh, mental attitude, you give them positivity. Not tell them, oh well, you're not going to last very long then, are you? And what I need is I need people to come. <laughs> now here's something one... Went, something, something went ding there. Now here's one person who won't mind me mentioning their names. But I won't. I'm having the same drink as Andy, but it's a different flavour. And this person knows I'm depressed right now. Aye, she does. And this person's known me for a long time, and so has her sister. And what I need. Unfortunately, she can't get through to see us. She can't get through to see yeah. us at the minute. Yeah. I've got stomach cramps at the minute, really bad stomach cramps. And, I, the and that's part of that's part of Crohn's as well, stomach cramps. Unfortunately. Wendy said it, it said it, Wendy, I know several Wendy's so it could be any of them, but this one, she said it's hard to get your strength back, start to get better as soon as you can do more, 
Try your best, Andy, and you will have the best medicine right by your side. Amanda, sending my love and positive thoughts. Wendy. Well, it could be any of the Wendy's. Amanda's going to... Um, yeah. Have a look. Yeah. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, hurts. Yeah, of course it does. I haven't got the light on, so... There's something there. There is something there, but... I need people to help me beat this bloody goddamn disease. I know that... I can't... We can't cure it. I know that I can't cure it. I know I can't be rid of it. But it can be put into remission. Yes, it can. And I want to be positive about that. And I want to be positive. But I need the help from you lot out there to get me back on this positive keel again. The thing is, right, is... You tell him, Amanda, you tell him. What he was starting to get... Uh, down there, he was starting to get better down there. And just before Christmas, he had a flare-up, which set him... Um, set him back over Christmas and he's just starting now to get right so will them saws that are on there now will they heal up they will they'll take time again because um, with the flare up he, he has two saws that, um, that were healing that did heal and now they're starting to get there's like two holes where they are so um but like I say it took months before the, the source healed so and now I'm going to have to have months of laying on my side yeah just to, to get them healed again so I'm just going to still do what I'm, I normally do um, I use emollient um, Amanda's going to show you what an emollient is or she will explain to it go, go and get well, the tube on I have a tube of it, but I also have a, a tub. The tub is like a... Um, I'll, I'll bring it in. Because I'll have to... Um, I'll bring it in. Sheaves. I'll stand over sheaves. She's just gone now. We bring the tube with the other stuff as well. Turn on the light. That's it. This is known as this one here is known aqueous cream. What I do is when I'm cleaning them up, I put this on the cloth. I wash, I wet the cloth, put this on the cloth, soap it up, and then. But um, this stuff here, this is emollient as well, and this, that. It's a sub soap substitute. It looks like lard, but um, you put it in the water, and it um, it's actually oily. It is similar to lard, but it, it's because uh, Andy has um, psoriasis. This is part of what he should use to clear his psoriasis up when he has a, a shower or, or a wash. And um, what I've been doing is I've been putting it a, a bit of it in water to dissolve it and then use that to, to clean them up with. But you can use it like a soap. You can put it on a flannel and uh, sort of lather it up and then wash yourself with it. Yeah. And can also use it because it's got the ointment. You can use it like um, a moisturiser as well. You put it just straight on the skin and rub it in. Yeah, it's got three uses. Three uses. But, um, that's what I've been using to clean, it, clean them up. Yeah, and it's been working. 
Because what does is it, uh, while you use it to clean them up, it's also moisturising your skin. So, um, your skin's not drying out. Oh, no. Is there anything there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, the so, that. um, been using this and using that Medi honey, and that Medi honey is like a barrier <clears throat> cream, and that's been working. But like I say, he's had that flare up before Christmas, and uh, some of the sores have come back. The thing is, when the sores come back, it takes months to heal. So. Oh no. The thing is with all of this stuff here, it contains paraffin, so you can't <sighs> have it near any naked flame, you know. Oh no. Just <laughs> oh no. That's pain. Man, look, I'm gonna to have to cut this video short yeah, because I'm put yeah. I'm I'm in pain. Amanda needs to do some work. Yeah. Look, I'm back on the positive side. Don't know how long for. Don't know how long for, but because I'm here. Because he has his ups and downs, his moods. I'm ups his and downs, moods, uh, but I need, I need more of you to be positive thoughts and... Right, we are going to go. Yes, we are going to go. To do. And he keeps getting distracted. I do. Yeah. Because of the work coming up on here. Yes, we're going to go. Speak to all you wonderful people. And toodaloo for now. And toodaloo for now. Goodbye.